Hardcore Henry. Hardcore Henry. First time I've seen this movie. Not yeah, me too. a fan. What'd you think? No. No. I actually kind of i I didn't like it at first because mm. it kind of made me nauseous. Like, I felt carsick. Yeah. It was. Um. But then I watched it today on my phone. Yeah. And I was able to kind of be a little further away, and I didn't have that same effect. Yeah. yeah. I I kind of liked it. It was frustrating because it's like the third person, right? Or first person, sorry. It's like watching someone play a video game that you can't like control. Yeah. And so I don't know. I didn't mind it. Yeah. It didn't really have a story, but I felt like I, I like the action. The first person view took away from the movie. I don't see I don't any think there is a movie. Well, I mean, it was all built around just trying out this new concept. Yeah, but the stunts. So they did everything they did was basically practical. I really liked the fights. I thought they were cool. Yeah, but they. I, I don't, don't want to. I don't see because I. So I watched the uh, the director's commentary with the main actor who played Johnny, and uh, okay, he said Johnny, the guy who played Johnny, was like. Or Jimmy. Yeah, play Jimmy. He's like, man, oh, I feel like we... Charto. Charto? How do you say his name? I don't know. Charto Copley? I don't know. But he said, like, man, I, right. I feel like we made a better movie than we filmed. Because they were talking <laughs> about the stunts. And I was like, yeah, yeah that's a, a decent way to put it. Because, like, they they did, like, all this crazy stuff where people were getting set on fire and jumping on moving cars and like doing all these like really complicated things. But because they're just using a GoPro on a guy's head, you miss out on a lot of it. You know, like you don't get to appreciate it the same way you would if you saw his body doing it. And it's, it's hard to keep up because there's a lot of editing tricks that they do with the whip pans. So when he moves really quick, and you lose a sense of space. Like, you're like, okay, I, when he walked in, I was aware that there was a wall here, but now he whips over and that wall is gone or something like that. Yeah. You know, like, it's not, it's, it's hard to be like, oh, where are you, where is he in the world? Um, but like, I, I do think it's, it's cool, but it's five minutes cool. You know what I mean? Like, if you boiled it all down to a five minute music video of all this stuff, I'm like a hundred percent on board, but an hour and a half, two hours, whatever it was, I was like, man, this is, this is getting exhausting. It, it was good, but I didn't ever, and I don't know if this is what they were going for, but I didn't ever feel like I was the character. Okay. Yeah. You know, I don't, is that, I don't know. I assume that's what they were going for. Like, like it's you doing these things? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, but I never, that's why, I never felt that. That's why they didn't give him a voice. Right? I, well, yeah, exactly. Like it, a video game. It, it was a video game. Yeah, it felt like a video game script that never got made. And they're like, well, let's just make a movie. Yeah, pretty much. Um, it There's not a lot to it. I thought the fights were good. You're probably right about the whole they taken away from the... Like they should have split this into two different movies where one you make the movie <laughs> yeah. as the first person right yeah and it could be cool but you save your really cool stunts for like a, a regular like a john wick movie yeah yeah um, i don't know so yeah it, like to me it was just when i realized how much practical stuff they did i was like man you guys did a lot of effort for a little result because you can't see it you can't tell what's happening but like yeah they were actually doing a lot of that stuff. Um, but I, I liked it. I, I didn't really understand yeah, so the villain. They didn't make that make any sense. They didn't put anything into that. He just had magic powers. He had telekinesis. Yeah, that, that was so random. And it was like, well, you got to explain this a little bit. You got to... <laughs> Why did he have the powers and also no one else yeah but he's also making a cyborg robot army Mm -hmm. i don't know like i felt like everything other than the magic powers all was explained right i mean yeah the powers were not there 
they just didn't even try. They didn't even be like, it was a curse or he found something or he has a magical item. Nothing. They just, no. he just had powers and it was just like really difficult to engage with because of that. Yeah. But um, I think you're right. I think the fight scenes are cool, especially that last one where he's fighting like a hundred guys on the rooftop. Well, I, I, yeah. So what I like, one of the things that I actually really liked about this, this movie was the, the, the song choices. Uh huh. Yeah. The music is good. I thought, I thought they either, it was either like they, they were good songs that fit an action scene yeah, or they were songs that like didn't essentially, but it, but it worked. Yeah. Like songs that didn't fit the scene, like the scene in the, in the bra, I don't know, I guess a brothel yeah. it was, mm-hmm. but, and the, but they were playing like the temptations. I don't remember. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, I know you're not, you don't listen to songs in movies, <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I just I thought it worked really well. That I thought the song choices throughout the whole movie were yeah. really good. And then that last scene when he's fighting all the guys and it was mm-hmm. "Don't Stop Me Now" from Queen. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was awesome. Yeah, I thought I thought probably one of the best parts. Why well, I, I thought the Jimmy concept was super cool. Okay, so I don't think I fully understand. So any Jim, of that, Jimmy was working for the bad guy, right? And. He screwed up at some point. The bad guy got mad and let the robots basically beat him to death or almost okay. to death. They paralyzed him. They broke his spine, couldn't move his arms, couldn't move his legs. So he's a quadriplegic. He continued to make the cyborgs, but figured out a way to remote control them from his wheelchair. Okay. So he had all these avatars that he could just enter okay. from his yeah. wheelchair. And so yeah. like, because in the beginning, it was like, oh, man, they keep using the same actor to help out the Henry. But it was like, why? They're not explaining this. And then they get to the explanation of like, oh, no, this is just an avatar. This is just like a robot he's controlling. It makes way more sense. And who, like, yeah. Who was your favorite uh, avatar? Um, I, I, liked, I have a clear favorite. Do you? I liked the the soldier. I just didn't like his accent. His accent bothered oh, me. Yeah, no, I like that. It was like it was like a World War One, yeah, like British infantryman. I thought he was great. I thought it was funny because he was just super like uh, calm. Mm-hmm. You know, while they're like he's super. Yeah, I guess calm. The scene, the it's like the scene towards the end when they're like in the alley or whatever, and they're like yeah. blowing up the vans and they're shooting the guys. I, th- I don't know. It, the way it was cut and the way he was like doing all these different things, I thought was was pretty cool. Yeah, like when he he had he had the like the bazooka or the rocket launch or whatever, and he, I don't know, he was doing like this weird pose when he shot like the van. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought I I, I like that guy. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. No, this movie is technically amazing. Like the what they did, the techniques they used, the filmmaking skills they used, like. All that stuff was outstanding. The story was weak. And then the the actual device, the story device telling of making it first person makes it harder to get into it. Yeah. Like, but the the they do that it's they fake that one shot, right? The um they make it seem like it's one take. They fake the one take of Which when one are you talking about? in the in Jimmy's lab when they're revealing that Jimmy has all these avatars yes. where he would be like talking and then he'd like fall asleep and then the next one would pop up. But so there's no way to practically do that in one take in the way no, they did it. Of course not. Right. But they make it seem like it's all in one take and it's really done. It's like done really well. It's like similar to like and Birdman. It, and that was a good, that was a good, uh, good song. Uh, for that scene also i thought yeah i don't remember what song it was but it was like it was real. under i don't know what it's called it's basically singing under my skin oh the frank sinatra song that's yeah. right um one of the issues i had though was because it seemed like their intention was to make this a one take movie right that the whole thing yeah. was done in one take right i think they got to the end and they're like man all this running is kind of slowing it down too much there's like 
too much time of him a lot just, of a lot of dead space of just running getting from place to place yeah so then they started editing that out like pretty aggressive so you'd go oh, yeah from, there were some big cuts you'd, the end. you'd go from these like really cool single take you know or th- that seem like a single take shots and you know like you're following following and then they're like cut 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 and you're just like well what happened why like why did you spend so much time investing or like tricking me into thinking this is all one take when you're just going to edit it all out just to blow it later yeah yeah and i I get i i assume that their intention was let's just do this one long take let's make it bird action bird man basically had they done that i think it would have been up a couple points for me it would have been cooler but i do think it. you don't think it there would have been too much of the running for well, it to make sense well that's what i'm saying i think what i think the reason they cut it makes sense they should have planned ahead better and not had so yeah. much running and then been so able many to distant locations yeah should have been more local yeah it should have been tighter <laughs> Um, I liked I I did like the scene on the when they're on like the highway when he's like in the sidecar of that motorcycle. Sidecar. sidecar. You know what I'm talking. He's it's it's towards the end. They I think he's in a sidecar, right? And he's got like the big machine gun, and they're chasing down the vans. I don't think was he in a sidecar, or was he just on the back? No, I think he was in a sidecar. Okay, because there's I could be wrong. There's one point where he jumps from one of the vans onto the back of a motorcycle then, yeah at that point he doesn't get on the back of the motorcycle so that but I think that he starts in the sidecar because he's got the the big gun sitting in front of him and it's got like the blanket on top of it oh yeah you're right yeah that was a sidecar but the one from the van to the back of the bike was done practical yeah. they did that with a crane and a wire oh really that's and, cool. yeah and so that's what i'm saying about like or what the other guy was saying about like they they made a better movie than they filmed like that's yeah. a that would be a impressive thing to see, you know, but like, I don't know. But anyway, so the sidecar with the machine gun. I just, that, that whole scene with them chasing down the vans and, mm-hmm. and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it, a lot of the combat and the, the fighting did kind of remind me of John wick. Yeah. Like as far as like the, the super accurate, like shooting and mm-hmm. pretty much going for the headshots and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. It is very um, like visceral. Like it's very, uh, gritty, intense. Oh, you super. Know. There uh, was one of, one of the other things that they, that they did constantly throughout the whole movie that I thought was what would be realistic, but also is, I feel like a, a video game concept is mm-hmm. the dude. He didn't stick with like his one gun. Like every time he killed someone, he picked up that gun and like kept going on yeah, and yeah. kept swapping them out. Cause like, yeah, your gun is eventually going to run out. Right. Yeah. And, and said you just, he'd kill a dude and go and take that gun instead. And I, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, it did seem that towards, the, or at least the second half, it was like, let's see how, ridiculous we can make some of these deaths instead of just people getting shot yeah no i agree it was kind of over the top it was that last yeah i thought so but it wasn't it wasn't so much that i didn't enjoy it it was just like you were doing fine just shooting people and stabbing people (laughs) why do you have to rip a guy's head apart with barbed wire (laughs) with your wasn't it like his eye his his eye eye was the, the the final villain i thought right? it was barbed wire i thought he wrapped barbed wire on his hands like uh oh, i think that was his eye socket and he had it had come out and he used that to wrap around the dude's head because oh, maybe i don't remember in, i thought in it was that scene wire. he had the split vision yeah cause because he, his eye was out yeah but I, he he wasn't using his own eye to do it are you, I thought he was. I'll, no, I'll, I'd have to look again. That, I thought that he was, was using a, like the wires. No, I don't think so. Oh, I, yeah, I could be wrong. Not. But the the eye thing was kind of a cool um, technique too, because they they would put two cameras next to each other, but one was tilted to give you the yeah. impression of. No, like, I like that. Vision. Like when he got hit with the the baseball bat. Uh huh. I thought that was cool to have it kind of split until the dude, you know, fixed, fixed it, it or whatever. Yeah. But um, it, that it, was cool. It is definitely not a movie if you get like motion sickness from movies. Like if Cloverfield is too aggressive for you, this is way worse. 
But see, I see. I never had a problem with clothes. I've I've never had a problem like that with a movie. Yeah. And this one, I don't know if it was because I ended up watching it on a smaller screen or if I just got used to it. Well, I didn't have any problems after about twenty minutes. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like this one is aggressive. If you do have problems with oh, it, yeah, for you know sure. what I'm saying? For sure. Like it's it's so much happening, and it's all um a lot of it is like digital. So you already have this like weird perception of it yeah. because it's not real. And then it's yeah. moving so much that you're like trying to keep up with it. It's like really easy to feel nauseous by. But uh, I, um, I don't know. I, I didn't really care for it. I thought it was, they over relied on the, uh, the point of view thing, making the movie and like, it's cool. But again, I, I think five minutes is the most amount well, yeah. of time. Like what you said, it, it would have been better as like a, a short film. Yeah. And I think that's what it was. I didn't, I hadn't seen it, but I think they made it as a short film originally. Uh, I got you. And this was all I done know. by Russian filmmakers. This wasn't a, uh, like a Hollywood movie. This was made, I believe in Russia by a Russian team to like showcase their skill. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I, it's definitely an interesting concept for sure. Yeah. What do you think of overall? What's your opinion? Um, I liked it. I, I think uh, I didn't, it, since it's such a novelty idea, mm -hmm. I didn't really need the story to like be great. Yeah. Like it was fine. Yeah. It, had it been a, a third person, you know, even with all the, the action scenes and practical stuff had it been that kind of movie a regular movie it i would i probably would have hated it yeah with that storyline in place yeah yeah but this one i like i didn't need it to be that great because that wasn't what yeah what they were showcasing so. yeah yeah so i i liked it i liked yeah. the music choices i i liked it yeah no it's 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 fun it's interesting it's just it's hard to like sit down and watch it i think this if you weren't like paying attention it'd be a lot more enjoyable yeah you know what i'm saying like if you just had it kind of in the background you could like check out when stuff started happening you would enjoy it a lot more than if you're just like strictly watching it like i, w I wouldn't want to see this in the theater at all oh no i think i was just thinking about that it probably would have made me sick yeah but uh yeah so I think that, I mean, unless you have anything else to say about Hardcore Henry, I think that's about all I have. Um, that, that's about it. I didn't, I didn't really know anything about it. Yeah. Going into it other than it had that, that dude from district 13 or district 12 or whatever it was. Yeah. District 12. District nine. District 12. District nine. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and I really like that movie. Yes. That's a way better movie than this movie. <laughs> I thought. See, I thought this was done by the same people. Mm, I don't, but I think don't so. believe that's true now. No, I think that guy went and did Chappie. I think that's what I was thinking. This was. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, no, because it's got that guy in it too, Copley. But uh, yeah, so next it's week uh, we haven't talked about it yet. But what I was thinking we could do is we could start the X Men franchise starting from the beginning. Okay. Um, so we'll do X one, X Men, just, just X Men, right? Yeah, we'll do that next X -Man. week. If you want to check that out now, it should be over on Patreon because for a dollar you get access to all our episodes two weeks in advance. You can yes. you can help support us there. You can help us decide who has to pay the punishment at the end of every month. Whoever has the least amount of votes has to watch a terrible movie chosen by the other person. I keep losing. If you'd like to change that. I would appreciate it. What was the last one you watched? I still have to watch uh, Gotti. I need to watch that. Oh, Gotti. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I look forward to that. Oh, yeah.